good afternoon all right now we see the meandering of rivers it is a last unit of your syllabus and uh, some points are discussed to be here meandering stream stream consisting of successive meanders meander is a general bend or sinus sinus water course it is the water course of body which is called as meandering formation a meander is formed when the moving water in a river changes its speed of water eroding sediments from the outside of bend and depositing them on the inside combination of the erosion and deposition helps the expand the size of meander the result its movement of take snake's pattern is as the stream meanders back and forth across its down valley axis there is there is an examples of uh, outside bends or inside bends the meander meanders are found in the other part of the course as as all rivers flow down a slope towards the sea and will take easiest route to available however the geology of land means river will rarely flow in the straight path so this is why it will meander the rates of deposition and lateral erosion are the highest at the part of the river erosion here it is the river flow movement it is a pool region and it is a rifle region so the deposition on the inside to here and erosion on the outside to here so here it is the oxbow lake lake pattern here it is the inside bend so inside bend are deposition and outside bend are bend are erosion flow of meander here it is the flow of meander it is a major flow of meander bends this flow cause elevation of the water level on the outside of meander the water flows in the cork screw motion is called helical flow it is the cork screw motion features this include channel lack below the common floor of the coarse core core cyst material is sorted out and left behind on the stream bed boy point bar sediment accumulation on the convex side of the meandering loop over bank deposit deposition of sediment by a river on a valley floor outside the stream channel resulting in five layer of sand deposition natural levees mounds of soil piled up along the rivers edges each time the river floods crevices splits spilling of large quantities of water and sediment at the time of flood from the river bank oxbo lake lake created when the growing meanders intersect with each other and cut off meander loop so here it is the section of over bank sediments accretion here it is a point bar lateral accretions that is the natural levees patterns it is the sir crevices place vertical acceleration this is a lag gravel sections it is a lateral accretions formation on of oxbow lake oxbow lakes are created when growing meanders intersect each other and cut off meander loop this occurs when meanders go laterally through erosion and deposition it includes four stages where rivers flow over flatter land and develop large bends called meanders it is a develop large bends called meander inside bends there is a much less water making the rivers deep a slow flowing it is the neck portion of the river bend during the flood river will cut right through the neck that is the river will take new shorter loop here it is the loop pattern and it is the cut direction of the river with fastest current of the center of the river deposition occurs the next 
the banks here it is the fastest current it is the deposition of oxbow lake the lake pattern here it is here it is the river showing a different types of direction of river flows thank you